davening, lost lavais, will focus primarily on whether or not there will be obligation to daven when Mashiach comes, and what exactly it would be. Um, I just realized, I just want to point out that Shkach Pratis, I realized I was doing the sources, all of a sudden I realized that there's a piece of Kudotaria that discusses it in the very beginning of this week's parsha. There's a piece of Kudotaria that discusses it, explains what the Chesed is this idea. So anyways, the question arises from, first of all, what's the reason why davening was established? So let's see in source number one. All the different davening were established by the Obis, were established by our forefathers of Ram Nitzchak and Yaakov. Rabbi Shua ben Levi Amar, Tvilois Kineged Kemidim Tiknum. That the prayers, the davening, Shachos and Chamayrev were established corresponding to the carbon tamid. The carbon tamid is a sacrifice that was bought in the Beis Hamikdash every single day, two times a day in the morning and in the afternoon. We'll be mentioning it a lot, so I want to explain what carbon tamid means. Now, so you have two reasons. Either because of Tfilas Kineged, um, the Ovis were established by the Ovis, or Kineged Timid. Now let's see first the source number two and three in the later Poiskim, how we accept. The Rambam, and Hilchus Tfilo, Perek, Aleph, Alochahi, the Chain Tiknu, Shayahei, Minyan Hatfilois, Kiminyan Hakabonis. And they also established that the number, the amount of prayers, the amount of davening should be the same amount as, as the Kabbalah. State Fitness Bechol Yoyim. Two prayers, two davening, in other words, two main davenings every day. Kineged Shnei Timidim, corresponding to the two carbon tumits. Bechol Yoyim Sheyesh Karbim Musif. Thank you. Bechol Yoyim Sheyesh Karbim Musif. And every day that has a carbon mukness, carbon musaf, tiknu by tefillah shlushes connected carbon musaf. Meaning like this, in Shabbos and Yantiv, in addition to the study, to the carbon tummy, to the study carbonus of the morning and the afternoon, there was a third carbon, known as a carbon musaf, which came special on each Shabbos and Yantiv. So, so on days that they brought a carbon musaf, they would bring a third, we, we added a, also in that. The tefillah she connected tummy shall shall baker. And the, the, the davening that is corresponding to the morning davening in the class Tfilos Shachar is called Tfilos Shachar. The Tfilos Shekinegat Tamashu Ben Abayim in the class Tfilos Mitzvah. The Tfilos Shekinegat Tamashu Ben Abayim in the class Tfilos Hamasaf. Then the additional prayer is called Tfilos of Musa. Now there's a reason why we'll see later. We'll get back to different expressions of the Rambam. But in general, we see the idea that. The Raman Paskins also that the tefillah, the davening was established in Nagatomi. Now let's see the Al Tereb and Shulchan Aruch also, source number three. The tefillah he b'makom carbon. The tefillah is in the place of a carbon. Then Al Tereb goes on to explain that's why you have to treat it with respect. Another interesting halacha that Al Tereb mentions here, that because it's such a special thing, really you should have a special nice garment for davening. But we do not obligate people to spend so much money in it. It's just an interesting thing. But then regarding our main point, is we pass in the Tfilos, the connected Karbanas, the Tfila was established for the carbon. So now, here comes our question. If the Tfilos seemingly, what means we're mocking Karbanas? What means connected to me? What would be the simple understanding? It's like this. We have obligation, one of the Tayag Mitzvahs, or actually two or three of the Tayag Mitzvahs, is to bring an offering in carbon Tamid. Tamid Shal Shachar, and Tamid Shal Ben Arbayim, to bring an offering. When we have a Beis HaMikdash, then we bring the carbon. In the time of Golos, that we don't have a Beis HaMikdash, then we replace it with davening. That would be the simple understanding of this. So if that's the case, it comes the obvious question, what will be when Mashiach comes? When Mashiach comes, well, should be soon. 
you have a very simple, in, in one hand you could argue, now we bring the carbon musaf, the carbon, the carbon tamid and the carbon musaf. There's no need to replace it with davening, being that we have the carbon itself. We don't need to have the replacement of davening. On the other hand, if you say that Tfilis is Ovis Tiknum, that Tfilis was established by the Ovis, so seemingly it's not connected to Kabbanis at all, so that's the case, then we should bring the carbon, then, then, then we should dab in even when Sheikh comes. So now, really, this same question. It's not the first time it's relevant before Mashiach comes. This very question is in the times of the, of the first Beis HaMikdash and the second Beis HaMikdash, whether or not they daven them. So based on that, you go back to the sources, we could figure out whether or not we will daven when Mashiach comes. Before I continue to get into this, I just want to point out a, a, a very simple question. Open up a, If you open up a Siddur, you see, let's say, we, let, so, so let, me, let me ask a question. Let's say when Mashiach comes, we will die, right? Let's say when the time of Beis Amignus, they die. Shemina Esher, the first three brachas is praise of Hashem, Atta Choyne, Shivenu, fine. Then, the many brachas, the bracha of Re'ena V'anyeinu, Ugaleinu Meheder Adman Shemach, and redeem us, bring the Gula very soon. You conclude God of Israel. Another brach is Tekab Shefer Godel. You should sound the big Shefer again. We're asking Hashem to bring Mashiach. Alat Sadikim. Uh, uh, no, sorry. Lamal Shinim. It's also very much connected to Mashiach. Malch Sadisha made us to have the kingdom of Hashem. Shiv Shiftain was also connected. So that's already maybe you could give a different explanation. But, but the point being, most of the brachas and shmanas, at least the ones that are request, more than the, than the basic majority, ruba called in Russian Kaddish, ruba the ruba of the brachas are talking about Mashiach. So how could you say these brachas won't make any sense when Mashiach comes? We're in your shalim with Mashiach. <coughs> we have Mashiach. So this source, turn to your second page. This is brought in the top of, of the page from a Sefer, Rimoisa Mashiach Balacha by Rabbi Galitsky. So he brings a few different things in this. So he ne yedua, madi isa be medrish, yalka shomani, it's no one that says no medrish, call it filas betela, las lave ve da in a betela. All the prayers will be bottled, be nullified. <coughs> But Haida, the praise will not be nullified. Meaning like this, Shemin Esher consists of of nine of total of nineteen brachas. You have three brachas in the beginning of the praise of Hashem, three two brach, uh, three brachas in the end, also the praise of Hashem. So you're left with thirteen brachas of of, of Bakasha Shachar asking him cross. So we're saying the brachas of praise will continue. So it's explained. He explains the Asid Lava Shetia Hatoy Mushpas Harbe. The Asid Lava, when they when there will be a abundance of good, all the blessings will be there in abundance. So Tfilish Men Esel Lo Yia Bederech Bakashes Tzracha. Ella Bederech Hayda. The brachas will not be in a way of asking request. It will be in a praise. Let's skip to the next to the next column where you see again it's underlined. Yeah, shinui shinui benusach shalahem b'smanagol v'atchia. Kimoi ushvoy oil agoyim, as it says, you should break the yoke of the nations from from upon us. Naima will replace it with noy de lacha al shavarta oil agoyim. We will praise you on the fact that you broke you you broke the yoke of the goyim. And you will lead us and you let us to our land. And similarly, we praise to you, Hashem. Everything will be in a past tense in a way of brachas. Meaning, instead of saying all these brachas, that for years and years, 
we're saying now as a bakash, as a request to Hashem to bring Mashiach, we'll finally say we thank you Hashem for replacing us with Mashiach. And he goes on to explain without getting into it, he brings proofs that are also in the times of the Beis Amikdash, which again is questionable of the Davin, but we'll get to the conclusion later, also was also in a way of 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 of, of, of then it was to continue on the strength of Yushalayim, to continue on the strength of the Jewish kingdom, and so on and so forth, that it was then it, then it was a little bit different. Must have thanks more of just Please, Hashem, keep it going. So you see, so that just explains how it's relevant. In davening, obviously, it has to be a little bit different. So back to our original question. You know, just a side point. You see, Nishman you see, when the is about Mashiach, if anyone ever asks why we're so obsessed with Mashiach, this is, you know, why you could answer back, why do you have Kiddush in mind with the daven? You, you have in mind every day it has three quarters of davening is about Mashiach. Now, so there's an interesting question in Chido, which he discusses. He discusses mainly in his Man Beis Hamikdash. In Chido, in the Sefer Machzim Bracha, he has one of the the Chidos that says for him every Sefer and every topic is a different name of the Sefer, but it's really one. So it's a Sefer called Machzim Bracha. So he asks. The question, he brings a question that we have here in source number four. I couldn't find the, the, the text of the Mahz of Bracha, so he brings it from the Naida Bi Yehuda. The Naida Bi Yehuda asks the question, Vashin Badak Lon Malasai, Lama Psuke Hamusaf and Kav Betfila Samusif. Why, when it comes to Shabbos Musif, all of a sudden, a big part of the Dav of the Musif, and this is not on Shabbos Musif, any Musif, Yom the Musif also, is that it is is the, the psukim of carbonus? Who parshes at Tamid loy tiknu loy mer betfil of psukim at Tamid? But the parshes of Tamid, which is every single day, we don't say by not on weekday, not on Shabbos either. We don't say the psukim of the carbonus, the parshes Tamid. <coughs> Why by carbon most especially if we're saying that tefillas can never to meet in tiknu? That tefillas are established. To corresp- uh, um, 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 because of the carbonus. So why don't we say the psukim of the carbonus? Say it in carbonus? We say it in carbonus, but it, first of all, carbonus is not the same level of chiyu. Also, Shemun Esher, why? If, if the whole musif, if you think about it, the musif, basically the main part of the additional musif is because it's the psukim. You look in Yantim musif, every day is a little different. <clears throat> so he proves from this a very strong point, which is, which is very relevant to our question. He proves from this that the main part of davening, the main reason for davening, is because there's a mitzvah in the Torah, according to some Rishonim, it's Minat Torah, according to some Rishonim, it's Rabbanon. But the concept is, how do we serve Hashem? With how do you serve Hashem? What is Avodah Shabbalev? It's davening. And the way to fulfill this mitzvah is through davening. So, yes, later when they established it, it's corresponding, it fits. The order and when to daven and so on, that's connected to carbon to midin. But really, the main thing is because of Adam Masav Alakechem. And it brings a very nice proof from Gemara, Sukkah, Dafnum, Gimel, and Aleph, uh, source number five, which many of us know it from Simchus Be'er Sheva. Amar Rabbi Shur ben Chanania, Rabbi Shur ben Chanania said, Kishayinu Smechim, Besimchas Hasbeis Sheva, when we were Celebrating when we were joined in the joy of the Vesa Sheva, we did not see any sleep in our eyes, meaning we did not sleep for the entire seven days of Sukkot. Keitza, he explained, Shadi Shaina, the first hour of the day is Tamil Shashachar, was the carbon Tamil. So they brought the carbon Tamil. Misham, Litvila, from there you went to davening Shachars. So you see the davening. Let's finish the Gemara. Misham the carbon Musif. Then after davening, so the first hour of the day was the carbon. Then they david. Misham the carbon Musif. Then they went right to the carbon Musif. Misham the Tfilah Samusafin. From there to davening Musif. So you see again they daven all the Tfilahs. Misham Libay Samedrish. Now, what are you going to do the rest of the day? From there they went to learn. 
Misham Mahida Vishtiya from there to eating a little bit. Misham the Twila Samincha, then the Twila Samincha, Misham the Tamil Shabin and Bam, you see again the Dabin and then they brought the card in Tamil Shabin and Bam. And right after the card in Shabin and Bam, we come by Illah the Simchas Bez Hashaeva, then they went on for the Simchas Bez Hashaeva, which went the whole night. So when I ask, Aini, is it indeed so? Just to finish up the Gemara, I'm going to be Yechen and Yechen and says, Shwash, like Ishn Shlesh Yamim. Malkin, I say, if a person makes a shwar that he won't sleep for three days, he gets lashed. Why? Right away. Because it's impossible. It's impossible for something to keep. So how can you say that you're up for eight days? And the Lachik Amr, like the Amnu Tamir Shina, we didn't taste the sleep, the taste of sleep, to have a Menamni Akasra that Dadi, we would fall asleep on each other's shoulders during the dancing. Meaning in the Bismadish, when they learned it was perfect, they were awake. But they fell asleep in the middle of dancing. Um, and the Rebbe many times brought this by the Sikhs of Simchus Be'eshevo and the Rebbe demanded this from Chassidim to a whole day to learn to do Kinestratus, to go on with time all day and at night to sit him for praying and dance for Simchus Be'eshevo but in any case, what do you see here very clearly? The Chidah argues, you see here clearly that even in the time when there is Karbanus, they, they double it wow. so, so, he, so that's why again he concludes that they were daven in these times. And it, it happens to be in the Golos, it's a side benefit. Because you don't have Kambanas, it's also because it's also in the time of, it happens to be in the time of Kambanas, it also replaces that part. Now, so this is all, so based on this, regarding our question, Based on the Chidah's way of learning, it's very clear. It's very clear. I mean, not very clear. It's, it seems. It seems there's no reason to say that we shouldn't dive in when Mashiach comes. But now let's focus. So, and and this seems to be the conclusion that we would dive in when Mashiach comes. But the, but now there is still another question. Regarding Musaf, why is Musaf different? Again, what is different than Musaf? So we mentioned earlier already. What's different than Musaf is because Musaf, the content of Musaf is all about the Kabbalah. Let's see, well, let's see a taste of some Satis Brachas after the Kabbalah. The Gemara over there is discussing the halachas of Hashlamas of David. There's many halachas, complicated halachas, but there's a whole set of halachas and it has a relevance. If someone forgets to Davin, Shachris. Or was a Oynis, was in a situation he couldn't Davin Shachris. The halacha is that under certain circumstances he could Davin Mincha twice. If he forgets to Davin Mincha, under certain circumstances he could Davin Mincha twice. And what's interesting about these halachas is that even when it's from weekday to Shabbos and Shabbos to weekday, which we'll focus on in, in, in later. So Taisus is at this it says like this. So that's what the Gemara is, 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 is discussing. So Taisus in source number six, Loi boy, we're not asking a question in Tavle is followed to listen to Musaf. We're not asking a question if someone made a mistake and they're not Tavle Musaf. The Havadai Ene Mispalel Ba'arvis. He definitely cannot daven Musaf and Arvis in Banai. The Heich Yikra Sakarbonus. How could he read the Kabonus? We find over his man Musaf. The Allah is by Kabonus, but by Kabonus there was no such thing as a Shlomo. So if you didn't bring a carbon, the Allah is a famous line over his man, I bought the Kabonus. The time passed, the carbon goes over. Musaf has, has to be brought before. Before an hour after Chatzais, before the seventh hour. And once that time passes, he can't talk. It makes no sense to say the Pesukim later. The Gamloi Tiknu Sheva Brachas of Musaf. And they didn't establish either the other, the seven Brachas of Musaf, right? Because the seven Brachas, in the weekdays we have Shemayna Esrei, 18 Brachas, which is really 19 Brachas, because they added the Lamashinim. On Shabbos, it's all seven Brachas, right? So, they didn't establish the seven brachas. So some people say, you know what, I'll skip the pesukim. 
But the Elam is Sumun and the Fal and Salma Param Sivasaina is only because the Pasuk of Nushalma Param Sivasaina, which is brought a lot for Davin, meaning will complete, will pay the potter, the oxen, the carbonus with Sivasin with the lips. That will replace the carbonus with the lips. And regarding this for sure, once it's time passed, the carbon is bottled. So meaning, because this entire Musif is just for carbonus, you can't replace it. Abol, Shar Tfilis, but regarding other Tfilis, the Rachmininu, that's all about asking for Rachm, asking for mercy. And the famous line, Halavai, she is spelled in Kaliyam Kula, and Halavai person should have all day long. The ink and our money, and that's why you don't have the concept of over his money, it's past time past with another Davin, which we'll get back to later explain this last one. But the point that the point that the the the, 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 the is saying here. It's Musif is not something that you could replace because the entire idea of Musif is the fact that it is in place of the Karbanus. And an interesting halacha actually comes out from this. An interesting halacha comes out from this. It's a machlekis actually, and I'm not going. I'm 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 not saying this halacha. I'm just saying the the concept of it is that the tzlach. Which is also say for written the Nabi Yudha says from this you see that the women are not obligated in in Musaf. Why is that? Allah is like this. Normally there's a rule that women not shim peturis from mitzvah cessation as mangram and women are exempt from any time bound mitzvah. Any mitzvah that is constricted to time, they're not obligated. We're learning out from Sukhim, we're not getting into that. So based on that, really they should not be obligated in davening. However, it says being the davening is just asking for rachmim, asking for, um, for mercy from Hashem. So then they are obligated because they also need the brachas, right? So the tzach says from this you see, from this text you see that when it comes to musif, it goes back, falls back under the category of mitzvah associations and grammar. And the says very clearly that it's not tefilas rachmim. So that's why Nashim should be potter, women should be potter. There are those that argue, and and it's a lot of discussion and back and forth in Allah, but the concept is clear. The concept is that you see that Musaf is unique. And we see the Allah on source number seven, not the Rebbe passing like this in, in the Shukhanar. Over Kalayyim lay is spelling Musaf, ain't not a If a person Passes through the day and the night of a Musaf, he has no way to make it up. So, hey, he crack our bonus. How could he read Kabanus? They tried over his man Musaf. Another never quotes this Lashon again, which we won't go over, but it basically is Hilal Lach and we pass him. You know, that Musaf is it again. So, if that's the case, how come when it comes to Musaf, how come when it comes to Musaf, do we indeed say, do we indeed um, 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 say that we'll, we'll say it again when Mashiach comes? So there's an interesting answer that explains its follows. The safe recall the got the name of the safe, how did I get it? And how do you get them as the kids? He says that really, if you think about it, if you think about it, what do you mean that Tfilah is not a time of Rach? But that Musa is not a time of Rach? He brings two Gemaras that say in the contrary that Tfilah is the best time to dive. It says that the question is why on Shmini Yatzenes, when we start, Asking for Gesha. We said it's Tvila's Gesha. When do we say it? By which Tvila? By Musaf. Why? The Mender says, She'ain da'ite shal odom is yashavas ella be Musaf. A person's mind is not settled by Musaf. And in a different 
And another thing that we do special in Musaf is that Kiyah Shaif and Rosh Hashanah is doing Musaf because Musaf is a very auspicious time. Musaf is the time when a person has a clear mind. I think with Pashas it means Pashas you're already through the void of the avenue and, and you're on a higher level. But also, because of this reason itself, because of what Taisa says that Musaf is different, because Musaf is not just the side thing that it happens to be also a carbon. Musaf is an Amish a carbon. Musaf is like bringing a carbon. Musaf is the whole concept of Musaf is like bringing a carbon. So, on the contrary, that's a reason to say that it's more of an Israel sin, that it's more a special time, more time for asking Rachman. So, what starts to say that it's not a time of Rachman? So, it says very, very simple. Musaf is a very special time, is a time of that you could be part of great things. And, and, and it's a great Israel sin. Jesus is only saying, the end of the day, the content of the psukim is all about psukim of, of, of Musaf. It's all about words of saying the carbon of Musaf that you can't do at night because it's the wrong time. It's like a joke. On the other hand, when you're davening, let's say, let's say weekdish when that's especially, you're, you're davening the Eno of Yeno asking Hashem to bring the Gula Shlem, right? Does that make a difference if it's 9 o'clock in the morning or, or is it less relevant if it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 9 o'clock in the morning? That's not, that's not really the time constructed. Yes, the Takanas Chazal is the davening should be in the times of Karbonus, and yes, it, it should be fitting to that. But the words that I'm saying make total, make a lot of sense to say later in the day. Make a lot of sense to say the next day, the next week, because it's all about asking for brachas. On the other hand, when it comes to this special Musaf davening, with Musaf davening, the words are all about the actual carbon. That doesn't make sense to say later. So that's what, so that answers our question, how come does it seem, do we see clearly in the modern sukkah that in the time of the base of Mindosh, they did, they did say, they did um, 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 Davin Musif, and why it seems that when Mashiach comes, we will Davin Musif, it's because very simple, Musif is a special time, Musif is relevant always, the, the, the word does, don't make sense to say, past this month. Now, there's one more sorry, there's one more explanation which I'll say very briefly. There's a Gemara in Brachas that says that there was on a branch that says Shimon Hapikuli, name of a Tana, name of a Tzadik. His Tishman Esri Brachas the Fnei Gavriel, I'll say the Biyad. That he organized the Brachas of Shimon In front of him there. So the mother asks, you see that that comes from earlier. So the source says it comes from the Nevi'im, comes from Ashik, comes from Dela. What do we say? So the mother says that it was forgotten and he reminded them. And he reminded them. So there's a the Gemara that says, in a few places actually, the Gemara says that Shikha, forgetting, is not relevant to something that you should do every day. Which is a very logical thing. If you say Shemun Esri every day, what I forgot, what type of thing is that? If something that you, that, that, that you say in very, it breaks a camel, could be something that you forget. Shemun Esri, you forget. So there are those that want to bring an eye from here that in the time of the Bessam English, they didn't say it. So that's why they used to say it, but then they stopped when, by the second Bessam English, and after the Chur, when they started again. But there's different answers in that or arguments in that I just wanted to bring the other to, to add actually one more point which is more of a, a, a gishmaka union the others that say that this that it says in the mother sukkah that we saw that they they, they did dive in that was unique to buy shame meaning like this you see in the psukim you see in the mothers that even during the times of the they knew that there's going to be a court they knew that it's not the Gulbush thing. So then they didn't want to forget the davening. In other words, they knew that, uh, that, that well, they will come that will need a daven. So they kept on davening throughout the time of the Vesemigdash. But those that want to argue, well, Mish Vesemigdash Shlisha will come, take it from the yard, that will be a Gulbush Lema. So then you don't have that svar. But that's just one svar, but it seems overall, you could say that seemingly most of the sources seem to be saying that we will dive when Mashiach comes. And the only thing is, there are those that say that it won't be. 
is that, and, and, and what, what, what you have to say with Pashtas is what seemingly has to be that it will be a little bit different words. Doesn't make sense. But there are those that say that it will be completely different. It will go back to the way it was originally, that everyone, that there weren't constricted times with David. Everyone David when they were up to it. Which obviously nowadays won't really work, right? Because we wait a lot to. But when Mashiach comes, we'll be on a much higher level, we'll be able to go back to that. But now we'll, we'll go to the Kutatari in source number eight. Dr. Rebbe the in this week's Parsha explains why Beruchnians, why is it really that we want Ron Davon as a Besamimash? Even if practically do that, what's the concept? Source number eight of Zay Yuvan. This will be understood Mashetiknu Hatfila Bizman Khurban Besamigdash Dafka. Why the Tfila was established in the time of the Khurban Dafka. Ki Bizman Sha Besamigdash Kaya, in the time that the Besamigdash was standing. By Hoysa Shlita Umam Shala Rasha Biklipis Sit Achna. The the David Ba Adan Kokah. There wasn't the ability in the clippers and Sitka Akh to connect to the person so much. We is part to call by Ali Oven and the 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 all the um, activists of evil were separate. Avul Bizman, Churban Besam Ingdash, and the time of the Churban Besam Ingdash. Eis Asher Shola, Kulu. In the time that there is a ruling of the Klippis, and Tekbertis, the Yetzir B'Nefesh Abamis, the strength of the Yetzir Hara, and the animalistic soul. Tzarech Tumah Hafid, the Tvila Dafka, we have to separate it through Davening, but Yishpei Eish, with Zimayim, with Tagus Levkin. It's why they have to daven again every day, because it's not a one-time uh, thing. Every day it can get strength. What's the Rebbe saying here? So the Rebbe always explains in Tanya and Kuta Teira. We are going to discuss what is davening about, really. Davening is really about getting the nefesh shabahamis not to interfere or getting that actually embrace, getting the nefesh shabahamis to serve Hashem. When is that relevant? Only in the time when the Nefesh of Bahamas is in a state where na- where its natural state is not the surface. Where the Yezer Hara, the, the, the clippers are so strong that their natural state is not the, is, is not the surface. But in the time of the Beis HaMikdash, when everyone was much more refined, when there was a greater revelation of the course, then it wasn't so important, Daven. Similar to what it says by Reb Shem by Yechoi, Says to Rasa Ibn Nasif, a person of, if, that is profession is Torah is not before to daven, and seemingly he didn't daven every day. Because when it's such a refined level that the entire being is expressing Hashem's presence in this world, then you don't have to daven because you really, you're on that level already. You achieved it without davening. But we're in a situation now where we have to daven. We have to daven every single day because constantly the Yitzhahara is waking up, is fighting, and we have to fight the Yitzhahara. That's why in the, base, in the time, of the Beis Hamikdash, and I, probably how much more so when Mashiach comes, the the importance of davening from Chassidus is not so important. So that's briefly an overview on this subject. Just one more point. One more point regarding the specifics of davening when Mashiach comes. And this is the last page of the, our booklet. It's a Rishima from the Rebbe. The so Rebbe concludes with a few different things that will be different when Mashiach comes. The Asad Lavoi, when Mashiach comes, Yiyu Halavim Kehanim. The Levim will be Kehanim. The Kehanim Levim. The Kehanim will be the Levim. Allah will be like the Shaman. As we see, in always, and in, in right now we pass in the Kassil, Mashiach comes, Allah will be there for the Now, regarding our, our thing, Tvila Shem Eshman Esra Bekoil Ram. The Shman Esra davening will be loud. Meaning, now we daven to ourselves always, Mashiach comes, we'll daven Bekoil Ram. Now, what's the idea of this? So, What's, why do we daven belach? So why do we daven quietly? So there's two reasons given for why we daven quietly. One reason is because of if someone davens, it says in Gemara, if someone davens loud, 
is miktanei amona. Or it's for those who have very little amuna, meaning that it's like it's as if he doesn't believe that Hashem can hear him if he davens quietly. In other words, Hashem can hear you even if you daven to yourself. Hashem can hear you no, no matter how you daven. How you daven. One second. Hashem can hear you no matter how you daven, right? You can daven to yourself even if you can't hear yourself, really, Hashem can hear you. So that's why if you're davening loud, it's as if Hashem can hear you without you davening loud. Hashem can hear you, hear you perfectly. Then, the, according to that reason, if you think about it, really, that should be relevant even when Mashiach comes. But there's another reason given for it. Another reason is, A person is davening to Hashem. If he has Averis, he wants to express his Averis, or at least he'll, by the parts of the Dhamma talk about his Averis, will be with a more broken heart. So, not to embarrass, not to humiliate those who have Averis, so everyone says it quietly, like this, everyone has opportunity to, to say whatever you want without any there. So, that reason, when Mashiach comes, when, 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 uh, there will be no spirit of Tumma, when all, everything will be Kedusha, there will be no Averis in the world. So that reason is not applicable. But the other reason of Kitani and Munra seemingly is applicable. So there's different answers given to it, but maybe we can say an answer based on what we learned earlier. We learned earlier here that when Mashiach comes, all the brachas of prayer, of, of bakashas rachmin, of requests, will be transformed into praise. So now, the Gemara, when the Gemara says, that if someone says, it's in the Gemara site that we're learning these days, if, if when someone says quietly, that when someone says davening loud, it, is is it's it's mitane as if Hashem can can hear it. It seems very much as in the context of a koshestach. You're asking Hashem, I need parnasa, so you're saying it loud because you're, you're scared that Hashem can hear you. So then there's a chash like that. But on the other hand, if someone saying praise of Hashem. Praise of Hashem, there's really, a, there's really a reason to say it loud. Because you're saying praise of Hashem, you want everyone to hear. That's less of a request, so that's why that could be a reason why you say Tefillah the Koyal Ram Mashiach That's a really interesting thing, but a more a simple reason is given, is also, why is is, is in Ketani Amana? Because you could dive in low, you could dive into yourself. But if everyone davens out loud, and that's the regular norm, so then the, 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 the harshness of this goes away already because now we establish that we're davening loud. So so it, it's not so strong that you're davening loud. You're davening loud because that's Allah, not because of any other reason. Also, the pastures, we add the Ramek Rebecha, when Mashiach comes, it'll be no bad. So the, the, no one will entertain the thought that you're Mektani Amor. Everyone knows that Munah Hashem's presence will be so strong. These little things, like, and davening loud, obviously Hashem can hear me. That's not even a question. Only in the time of the Hell Master do we have this issue. So maybe we'd be zeichet to find out very soon whether we're going to continue davening or not. But Mashiach says, can and take it from Yad Mamash. Amen. Shukrach.